Yo, LAZ, man, you already know. Make sure you go stream that Gem Pop Top 100 Jail and Hood Stories Volume 2 is out. All streaming platforms. Volume 1 is out there. You heard? I'm putting out 10 volumes. I ain't playing no games. The Top 100 Stories on the channel on all streaming platforms. Make sure you go check that out. You heard on your favorite uh Spotify, Apple Music, Title, whatever it is you use, bruh. Make sure you go check that. But yo, shout out to the whole Willing Borough, New Jersey, aka Wiseborn. Peace to all the guards and earths out there. You heard we dropping some real serious New Jersey history today. You heard? Real serious history. So comment gang. I need y'all to tear this up. Shout out to the bro Sean Du. You heard out of Wise Born, aka Will and Burrow. You feel me? A lot of y'all dudes out there don't know nothing about that dirty jurors though. You heard? Y'all know one or two towns, but y'all don't know. Y'all don't know the terrain like that. You feel me? So y'all pay attention and learn some history. Cause it run deep. And that's a fact. Z-Man Suicide Polo with the ski man running around the hood like he man. Let's get it. As we get closer to these two niggas, these niggas back out toast on us, right? Boom, kicked me hard as hell. So when he kicked me, I was like, ah, oh, like I was really hurt, but I wasn't hurt. I saw it, I like, like I made it seem. I was like, ah, oh, and I like rolled a little bit and I got up and darted. Darted straight through them niggas right back towards the store. I'm running. Like my man Shy. You know what I'm saying? It's my bro, man. You know, he was like five foot six, five foot seven, hundred and thirty pounds, a little short nigga, swing nigga, heart of a lion, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was my man. He was ill, you know, I'm ill with the um rhyming. He was ill with the um turntables he was like there with the beep a beatbox and the pop and all that he was nice with all that okay the brother marsh that's the brother that he was with you know what i'm saying he was like four or five years younger he was a baby Huey type cat you know she was 15 years old knocking out niggas that was like 21 22. he was one of them type niggas you know what i'm saying he was one of them little young he-man niggas so i guess he took a you know like in the shot, shot was a little older shot, had flavor, so they running together. Alright? So, um, this is how I'm giving the cue how Shaw gave it to me, because at this time I'm down in VA. So, this how it was. Shaw was like, yo, dude, running with Marsh, man. One day it was like a gloomy day, whatever. Niggas' pockets is fucked up or whatever. Niggas need some bread. So, they run into my man, Indian boy. Now, remember my man, Indian boy, he from East New York, wearing the veil, you know, gun toting nigga. And uh, he throws these niggas a tech nine. You know what I'm saying? Hair pin trigger joint. Those on tech nine. Oh, wow. Then my wife keep calling through us. But anyway, I'm keep going. Those on the tech nine, boom. So these niggas, they run into this brother named Rad. Now, Rad, he from another hood. He ain't from my hood, but he's somebody new that we knew. He doing life on another bit, but that's a whole different other story. Now, this is all This is all in Jersey? Yeah, this is all in Jersey. This what? is all at Fires Barn, Willem Bro. This is Jersey. All right. All right. So these niggas, they get together. They in Jersey. Um, like I said, Indian throw them a tech nine, have a print trigger joint. They go out to Philly because Sha and the nigga Marsh, both of them, they from Philadelphia. So they go back out to Philly. They, they looking to go lay something down. So they run up on Lehigh and Allegheny. That's like equivalent to Broadway and Amsterdam and New York. That's the, you know, that's where all the poppies at with all the drugs, you know what I'm saying? So they run down, I guess, I guess they scope it out. They find the stick, they see it, you know what I'm saying? Park the car a couple blocks away. They run down, shot got the check, we throw the drop. You know what I'm saying? I guess Shaw telling me he'll throw the drop boom. He shoot a nigga, boom, chip shot, but whatever. They lay the niggas down, they get the bread. Successful, they, they on their way out of Now, there. what you mean when you say lay them down? You mean they made them get on the ground or they shot them? 
Now I guess when Shaw telling me when they got there, they laid the niggas, made them niggas get on the ground. But he said it was a lot of people there, so I guess you no know, shots went flying. But he shot one nigga, and but they got the bread and they got out of there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So they get out of there. So boom. But see, 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 I got to give him a shot. He caught a leg shot too, but I don't know. See, I'm gonna get back to that anyway. But anyway, they get out of there. So boom, they running back to the whip. So they get back to the car. Boom. When they get back to the car, Shaw got the tech in the hand. Boom. Marsh on his left hand side. Nigga wild with him. Marsh like, yo. They get to the car. They trying to get in the car. Marsh like, yo, bro, move the gun. You too close to me. Smack the nigga arm. You know what I'm saying? Shaw being a little nigga, when he smacked the nigga arm, boom. The shit go off. Well, hit. And he like, yo, nigga, you just hit me. He like, what? Yeah, you just hit me. Boom. So, he shot panic, I guess. You know what I mean? The tech, I guess he throws it to the nigga Rad, boom. Rad, being that he ain't really one of them niggas, really, he takes off, leaves the niggas. You know what I'm saying? Sha has the nigga Marsh, and the nigga Marsh just collapses in his arms. So they, they were standing outside the car? Yeah, they were standing outside the car. Now you get to the car, he's sitting on the left of him. Sha's small nigga. Marsh is a kind of stocky nigga, so, you know, they close together, I guess the, the gun hot or whatever, so Marsh, like, smacked the nigga arm because they close together, like, yo, boom. Get the shit out of my face. Smacks the nigga arm. Boom, and the shit go off. You know what I mean? Hits him. So, you know, Shaw nervous, whatever. The nigga, um, Rad, he nervous, so he bounces on him. Shaw being a real nigga, he ain't gonna leave Marsh, so he stays there with Marsh. Guess the nigga Marsh collapsed in his arms. Boom. They wait for the police to get there. I guess somebody called 911, whatever. Bang, police get there. Shaw, like, yo, we just, we just got robbed. Nigga shot me and my man, when nigga shot me and my man, whatever. So they go to the hospital, whatever. Meanwhile, remember I just told you, Shaw hit one of them niggas when they did the steak, right? Yeah. So Spanish niggas is in the hospital and he comes through and he tells the police, nah, we ain't shoot nobody. That little nigga, he shot. No, you said, you said, so you said they tried to, he tried to say that it was the dudes they robbed that came back yes. and shot them? <laughs> Because, you know, once he, cause once, what, once he hit his man, boom, and his man collapsed in his arms, you know, so he don't want to leave the other nigga that he nervous. He leaves the niggas. He leaves them. You know what I'm saying? He leaves these niggas. So now Shaw there, well, Marsh, you know what I'm saying? And he in his arms, and I guess they wait for the police to come because the nigga dead, I guess he died right in his arms right there. This is how Shaw telling me the story. So the cops come, take them to the hospital. But the Spanish nigga, he in the hospital too. He comes through and tells the police, nah, I ain't shoot that nigga. You know what I'm saying? The, the little nigga shot me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who shot his man, but he shot me. You know what I'm saying? And you can check the bullets. I guess the bullets came out of Marsh, out of him, and out of the Spanish nigga. All came from the same guy. You see what I'm saying? So now, boom, shot on the Brazil. But they let shot go, so shot, boom, he comes home. He's on the run. But he's, he's home for a while, though. And this is how I come into play. So, you know, while he home, I'm down in VA. So I guess when Shaw home, you know what I'm saying? I guess, you know, shit go down. He calls me on the jack. He like, yo, 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 man, I gotta come. I'm coming to VA to come see you. He ain't telling me why. He ain't telling me nothing. He just called me on the jack like, yo, dude, I'm coming to VA to come see you. I'm like, no doubt, you my brother. I wanna see you anyway, come on, boom. So he comes to VA now. He just he comes to VA, but I'm living with a shorty out there named Kim Belches. I'm down there in the service, so I'm out in Hampton. So he comes to VA, nigga gets off the train, boom, hop off the train. I noticed the limping. I'm like, yo, nigga, what's up? He's like, yo, I just got hit. I'm like, well, you got hit? He like, yeah. He be like, it's a long story. I'll tell you about it later. So I'm like, all right, cool. Get to the crib or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what's going on? He like, yo, I'll tell you about it later. But as soon as he say that, one of my niggas call, because they knew he was coming down. So niggas call me like, yo, dude, you know, you know why Shaw came down here, right? I'm like, nah, what's up? He like, yo, he just hit Marsh, man. He on the run, blah, blah, blah. So he tells me, this is not, dude, we young niggas. So he's still my bro. So I'm like, damn, nigga, why you ain't tell me all that right there? He like, I was, dude, but now you know, I was nervous, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it ain't about nothing. Come on, nigga, we gonna get low. So he chilling with me. We out there in Hampton. Boom, I'm staying with the shorty Kim. Now her baby dad was this nigga named Fud. And, and the nigga Fud had a brother named Rockmon. He was a basketball playing nigga. See, I'm a basketball playing nigga. So, you know, we playing ball together. And, you know, we out in the project. They got a little project out there. We out there playing ball. 
we doing our thing, shot hanging with me every day. So this one day we out there playing ball, niggas is like, yo, this nigga bubba, this nigga Chuck coming to play today, this nigga Chuck coming to play today. I'm like, who the fuck is Chuck? I don't know, niggas like, yo, Chuck coming to play today, he nice. So the nigga come, this nigga nice last, this nigga lame niggas, he L crossover L, jump shot L, this nigga L is fast, nigga. I'm like, come to find out, it's Alan Ives, and it's AI, but we still in high school. This is 9-2, in the 9-2 going on the 9-3. So we playing ball with this nigga, I got shot with me, but you know, I'm going to work every day. I'm leaving this nigga in the hood, out there while I'm staying. And shot, he hanging out in the hood, and that area where I'm at. So I guess he, he met, he guess he talking to niggas or whatever, whatever. I guess he runs off. He told, I guess he told these niggas that he had some bread coming or something like that to that effect. I don't know. But this how the shit goes down. Boom, I never forget this shit. It was the day of the Martin Lawrence pre premiere. Never forget this. Martin Lawrence had his sitcom coming on. Staying with Shorty. She like, let's go to this, go to the store. And I'm um, gonna get some, you know, get some stuff. So me and Shaw like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the store, get some beer, whatever. So I'm like, come on, let's blow. We walk into the store. We gotta walk through a cut through. Coming through the cut through, I see two niggas standing on the wall. Boom, we go right past them. Go in the beer store, get our shit, come back out the store, see the same two niggas standing on the wall, but about nothing. So now we're walking back through the cut through, back to the apartment. As we walk into the apartment, two more niggas. I see them. As we get closer to these two niggas, these niggas back out toast on us, right? So when these niggas back out the toast, you no, know, our immediate thing was to do was to turn around back towards the store. As we turn around and get back towards the store, the two niggas that was on the wall, them niggas backed out toast. So now, four niggas, they back out the toast, they got us surrounded. They like, get on the floor, get on the floor, get on the floor. I'm like, oh shit. So boom, we ain't had no choice but to get on the floor. You see what I'm saying? So we get on the floor. I get down, shot get down. I look to my left. I see the nigga hit shot in the head with the gun. He hit him. Boom. Smack him. I see the nigga arms get weak. And the nigga arms just go weak. Boom. So I hurry up and look to my left up. And I see the nigga ready to hit me with the gun. So when the nigga tried to hit me with the gun, I threw my arm up to block it. You feel me? Out of instant, I threw my arm up to block my head. You feel me? And the nigga kicked me in my side. Boom! Kicked me hard as hell. So when he kicked me, I was like, oh, like I was really hurt. But I wasn't as hurt as I saw it. I like, like I made a scene. I was like, oh, and I like rolled a little bit. And I got up and darted. Pew! Darted straight through them niggas right back towards the store. I'm running. Oh, 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 I hear shots behind me. Bah, 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 bah. But then my shit, I mean, my conscience stopped me. Shock. Boom. I turn around. I think it's just start coming back through the cut through. Shot walking towards me. When the nigga walking towards me, when he finally gets to me, this nigga eyes was like body caps. Nigga eyes was big as hell. Nigga fall in my arms. I turn the nigga around. Nigga got a hole in his head like the size of, like the size of one of them silver dollars. Big ass hole in his head. Nigga shot him in the head, but the shit, like, it ain't crush his skull, but it went straight through. Boom. Shoots him in the head. Boom. Falls in my arm. Police come, whatever. Mummy raps the nigga, whatever. Boom. He call his moms. I call my older. Boom. They like, what's going on, whatever. They like, get on the bus. We in VA. Get on the bus. They come pick us up in D.C. Me and the nigga drive to Greyhound, get out in D.C. Get to D.C. His mom snatch him up. My mom snatched me up. I go to my mom's crib. This nigga being that he's still on the run for that body. He can't go home. He shoots to Florida. So he out in Florida. Nigga calling me, yo, dude, I got the bread, whatever, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, nigga, you never told me about the bread, but whatever. So eventually, he got to turn himself in because the deans is blitzing this nigga mom's crib every day because he wanted for a body. So the deans is blitzing his mom's shit every day. So she like, son, you got to turn yourself in. So finally, the nigga turns himself in. Boom. Turns himself in. Other family was trying to make it seem like they wasn't fly, but everybody in the hood know they was fly. So this nigga, he winds up getting, with the rumors they gave him, 15 to 30. 15 to 30 years, that's what they give him. So he in Pennsylvania, he downgraded for it. This is like from 9 3, 9 4, 9 5. He writing me, he writing me all the time. He writing me, I moved to Atlanta. Now we get close to like 2000, 
2001, 2002. Now his brother, his little brother, do some wild shit and gets killed down in Myrtle Beach on some on some stealing some bike shit, whatever. His brother's, you know what I'm saying? His brother um lose his life, unfortunately. Rest in peace to big um to um his brother. You know what I mean? Lose his life. So now my girl and Shah's uh, my girl and Shah's my girl's dad and Shah moms was an item. So we was all our families was connected. So we go to the funeral, Shah on the phone at the funeral. He like, yo, yo, do I'm on my way home. I said, blah. I'm like, no, John, I already know. He's like, yeah, I'm on my way home. I said, okay, cool. Boom. I said, I tell the dog, I'm like, yo, dog, yo, when you get home, you get out. And he's like, no doubt, I'm coming right to you. I said, I said, I got a surprise for you. He's like, okay. Boom. Nigga come home. Nigga come right to me. He out. It's like, oh, four, oh, five. Boom, boom. I'm like, yo, guess who I'm fucking with? He like, who? I'm like, I'm fucking with Pwn. He like, Pwn, who? Pwn and all the eggs? I said, yeah, Pwn, that nigga up the street. That's my man, I'm fucking with him. Good nigga. It's my bro. He like, what? Like, I want to meet him. I'm like, no doubt. So, Shaw comes to the crib. He meets Pwn. Pwn meet him. You know what I'm saying? We chilling. We cooking out every day at the crib. We cooking out. Niggas doing music. We rocking. Like I said, I told you, Shaw rhyme, I rhyme. We, so we fucking with Pwn. We doing music, blah, we home. So now, one day, Sha like, yo, dude, I'm on my way out to Philly. Go see my um cousin. I'm like, all right, cool. They niggas go out to Philly, him and my man, May Sean. Now, May Sean, he and my rap groups, blue called Black Code. That's me and my man, Seven, and his brother named May Sean. So him and May go out to Philly, go see his people. They run up in this spot called the Eagle Bar. Eagle Bar, is a, it's a bar, regular bar. They run up in the bar, and they see, um, it's, it's a wedding reception going on in there. Niggas got the big buffet, shit laid out everywhere. Niggas, um, May Sean and Shaw, niggas all drunk. Nigga May bumps into these niggas' buffet, boom, knocks everything over. Steaks on the ground, food everywhere. This is May telling me, food everywhere. All May is some nigga yell out, man, hit them niggas when they get outside. These niggas fucked up my man's wedding. Hit these niggas when they get outside. So these niggas scared to go outside, but they go outside. Soon as they go outside, we can come off the wall, hit both of them niggas in the leg. Boom, boom. Now, my man shot moms. So she find out, Eagle Bar, they got insurance. They just shot her son and the man. The nigga shot, boom. He gets 20,000 or something for getting shot at the Eagle Bar. Now he got some bread. He got bread, now he done. Boom, now at this time, I catch a gun case. This is like, 07, I catch a gun case with some other shit. I get caught with a bunch, so now I gotta go do a county, man. So Shaw got the bread. He gets with Pone, you know what I'm saying? They rhyming and all that. So, Pone like, yo, man, see you got this bread, fuck it before you fuck it up. Get it here with me, we can do something together and maybe make something happen. So this is Shaw, give him a couple of dollars, the niggas start a little label, and then Pone together. Shit was called 4113. 41, the 41st side, that's where Pone from, 41st side of Queensbridge. Shaw was from 13th and Aries, so they named the shit 4113. Boom. We got that shit going on. So, so now it's time to run. So Pone telling Shaw, come over to the crib, let's get this music done. But Shaw, he the type of nigga rhyme all day. I don't know what it was, but every time when it was time to rhyme, he would never get into the studio. Every time it's time to go to town to rhyme, he don't want to do it, you know what I'm saying? So long story. Niggas don't really do too much, but whatever. So me, Pony, Shaw, we, we together all the time. Me, Pony, Shaw, we in Atlantic City. We run into the Junior Mafia niggas. These niggas come up, boom. It's me, Pony, Shaw, and my man Payne, Nishi. And um, it's Junior Mafia niggas. These niggas walk up. These niggas all got invisible bully on their shirts. That's what she said, invisible bully. Like five of the niggas got their shirts on. I think it was the D-Rock nigga, some other nigga. And the pawn shake hands, whatever. There's like a little standoff, cause you know, I think Pawn and the niggas had a little animosity with them niggas, so it was like a little standoff, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we had my man Payne and Nathan, and these niggas got some long, silly beards, you know what I'm saying? Brooklyn niggas, you know what I mean? So, you know how niggas scared the unknown, so it was like a little standoff, what, nothing, niggas dap each other up. When we keep it moving, we go to the um show, 
with Paul was performing with Fab and all. I'm down in AC. We did all that. So now she keep going. Sha, he's a wild nigga. Now he's back in the streets. He cutting up. He cutting up. Next thing you know, he be down here. He, he back in the streets. He doing sticks. He he's a wild nigga. He's cutting up. So he hit some nigga, whatever. He just knocked for it. Bang. He just knocked for, the, for, for hitting somebody. But now he still got that life parole. Remember I told you, he's still on parole for the life of the other shit. So now he hits another nigga. So now he down for another shooting. He got the motherfucking life joint on the back end. So now he's booked. He calling me like, yo, dude, I'm booked, my nigga. I'm done. So I'm like, damn, we ain't gonna never see Sean no more. I'm like, damn. About a year later, year later, nigga called me. He like, yo, dude. I'm like, what's good, bro? He like, man, yo, my stomach is fucked up, yo. I'm like, what? He like, yo, man, I can't even use the bathroom, man. Yo, my stomach is killing me every day. I'm up here calling these police. They come into my cell. Them niggas ain't letting me come out. Them niggas ain't getting, trying to get me to the hospital. Yo, I'm fucked up. You know what I'm saying? He, he downgraded for with all this. So finally, you know what I'm saying? He bitching, he bitching enough. COs take the nigga to the hospital. Come to find out, my bro got stage three cancer. So boom, I'm like, he's like, yo, do I got cancer? I'm like, what? I'm like, dang. So you know what I'm saying? So he's like, yo, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm like, man, hold your head, whatever. So the nigga hit me back. He's like, yo, Department of Pennsylvania, Department of Corrections, they don't want to pay for my chemo no more. So he's like, yo, they gonna let me come home. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. So he comes home. Boom, comes home. Come home, you see it in his face. He's small, he's getting smaller. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit ain't right, you know, you can see it like he fucked up. You know, he going through it, you know what I'm saying? So, we with the nigga every day, me and Paul, we coming. You know, we with him all the time until he get really bad, they put him on hospice. Throw him on hospice, me and Paul, we going to see the nigga every day in the hospital. That's Paul feeling like a little obligated, you know what I'm saying, to hold the nigga down, because he realized his man. So, you know what I'm saying, when the nigga finally passed away, Nigga poem pays for the nigga funeral. You know what I'm saying? Salaries, everything. We all went and spoke at the nigga funeral. And, you know, shit like that. He passed, you know, we all spoke and he passed. That was in 2016. Feel me? So, that was the life my man Sha. You know what I'm saying? He, it's so much other shit last that that nigga did. Like, I can go on and on and on about different scenarios that me and his brother been through. Like my man Seven, like this nigga done had shootouts with the sons of Malcolm X, niggas in Camden, he done banged out with other niggas in Philadelphia, he was down to Junior Mafia, niggas to What you mean the sons of Malcolm X was in the streets? Yeah, sons of Malcolm X was a crew from Camden, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was oh. Camden. Why wow, they you know from a block, they from a block called Malcolm X or something? Nah, nah, that was just the name of their crew. But they was, they was like a crew from the, they was on some get down, lay down shit. Basically, you had to, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you had to cop from them niggas. And if you don't cop from them, you laying down. Basically, that's what it was. They was running up on all the blocks. Everybody was getting money. Y'all niggas going to cop from us. If you don't cop from us, you niggas is laying down. You know what I'm saying? They was on that shit like that. They on that get down, lay down shit. That's what they just named they self. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It was a crew of them niggas that was like that. But um, out in Camden, you know, Camden in the 90s, that shit was deadly, you know what I'm saying? That shit was in the Time Magazine, that one of the worst cities in America, them niggas, yo. Like, all, like, most of all my niggas who I, who I did a juvenile bill with from Camden, all them niggas is dead, you know what I'm saying? Most of all them niggas is all gone. Yeah, them niggas know? that had, like, three, three of their mayors go to jail. Yeah, exactly. Like, that, that city was wild. I mean, my man, rest in peace to my man, Porky. Me and this nigga did a bit down Jamesburg together, so he was my man and shit. So, you know, I'm coming down, can to come check the nigga out. And the nigga like, yo, yo, you my brother, but don't come out here to come see me after the quality hour, after six. So, shit like the OK Corral, my nigga. So, Pork, he, you know what I'm saying, get money, nigga. Get me big time, get money, nigga. So, what happened with him is... His brother was doing sticks. He was laying niggas down or doing sticks and all that shit. So Pork was locked up. So Pork come home. And Pork know the niggas. This niggas from off his block. So Pork tried to come home and get the beast. Like, y'all know what my brother did was wrong. 
Blase, blase, blah. I'm here to pay y'all niggas back. I'm here to do this, this, and that. And the niggas, like, basically, you know what I mean? It was like, yeah, okay. Go gas the nigga and got the nigga, his brother and him in the whip, and took took that nigga over the Philly, blew his head off and his brother head off, killed both of them niggas, you know what I mean? Got them both of them niggas out the way. You know what I mean? So that's how that shit was going down out there. Like, it was real, like, you know, it was real out there, my nigga.